What is up, guys? It's Swammer here, back again with some more Go Battle League action. Going to be uh, go getting back into the Great League today uh, to start out Season 4. Uh, I did take Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off um, of battling. I needed a bit of a break after Season 3, uh, but ready to go for Season 4 now. Going to be swapping up the teams quite a bit uh, in my placement matches just uh, to try some new things. Um, and I'm going to be a lot less concerned with where I get um, placed coming into rank 7 just because um, I'm not sure that it matters that much uh, with the way that Niantic is changing up the point systems um, partway through the season and so forth. So i uh, going to be trying out a team of Skarmory, Shadow Machamp, and Azumaru. Uh, this is not a team of my creation. It's been featured on uh, Zionic's channel. It's been featured on Pogo King's channel. In fact, I think Pogo King has said that he believes this is the strongest team in Great League. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get right into the videos. So even though this may or may not be the strongest team in Great League, uh, it definitely does take some getting used to because um, McCamp is quite squishy and I am not used to it. So getting an Altaria on the lead here. Uh, so we're just going to charge up to Brave Bird to at least threaten it. They go ahead and throw right away. There's no need for me to shield a Sky Attack. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and go for a Brave Bird here. Um, if I connect, great. I'll swap out. I do actually connect, uh, and so I'm going to throw one more Air Slash. I was debating farming down with uh, Skarmory, but I really do just want to come in and farm with Azumarill instead. Get the energy advantage there. They throw a Sky Attack, that's perfectly okay, and then they swap into their own Azumarill. So this is totally fine. Uh, we have quite a big energy advantage, so we're going to be able to get off lots of play roughs. Um, and even if they have play rough, they're going to have to get to two of them to take me out. Uh, they actually go for the Ice Beam first. Uh, so an Ice Beam and a play rough will also be enough, but we're just going to go, again, straight for another play rough here. Uh, we do connect, so they're getting fairly low. Um, not able to get to another charge move. Uh, if this is an Ice Beam, I'll survive, but it is a play rough, so it does take me out. going to come in with Skarmory, though, and farm down all of this health. Uh, I will likely have to invest one shield. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to invest one shield here to farm this all the way down. Um, and now we're going to have a lot of loaded energy on this Skarmory. It is a Stunfisk in the back. I was expecting it to be a steal, so Stunfisk is definitely in there. Going to throw a Sky Attack after building to Brave Bird. Uh, and then we do actually get a shield, so I'm just going to go ahead and swap into Shadow Machamp, uh, and this is going to be a wrap. I'm going to go ahead and shield this. Uh, it's a Muddy Water, which is very surprising. Uh, they try and sack their Altaria, but um, I'm going to double up on the Cross Chop and go for it. Muddy Water is a very spicy moveset on uh, Stunfisk. Uh, not sure that it is really worth it. Uh, it gives you even more shield baiting potential, I guess, but um, Rock Slide is just so strong that uh, you almost definitely want that as your second move. But uh, props to my opponent for trying something spicy like that. All right, so Shadow Machamp so far uh, does a, has done a very nice job of taking care of the steel like it's supposed to. So um, hopefully we can see some more of that. All right, Skarmory into Stunfisk. This is not a good lead for us, so we're going to go ahead and swap out into Azumarill. Uh, without Hydro Pump, it's not a great matchup, but um, Ice Beam is enough to beat uh, that Stunfisk. They actually bring in their shift tree, though, which is totally fine. Uh, we're going to let them hit us with a leaf blade. And then we're just going to go for the ice beam. Uh, they're very likely to shield. They have the energy for a play rough. Uh, but there's really no sense in dropping it since they are almost certainly going to shield. Um, and then they time their leaf blade here very nicely. They CMP tie. Uh, I am going to go ahead and shield just to get off this ice beam because this will force the, the second shield on the shift tree. Uh, and we do force the second shield. So this is fine. Uh, I'm happy to let them take us out. They uh, likely have back-to-back -back leaf blades here, so no reason to shield this. Um, and then we can come in now with Skarmory. 
Uh, so they actually swap out into uh, Galarian Stunfisk. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our Machamp. This is just going to be a rock slide because they were expecting to throw into the Skarmory. Uh, and now we're going to be able to farm up a bunch of energy. This is going to be another rock slide. No need to shield this yet. Uh, and then we are going to go ahead and farm up almost to two cross chops. I don't think I could have made it to another one before they got to a, a rock slide. So wanted to make sure I got something. Uh, they come in with Azumarill. I'm going to go for a rock slide on this uh, Azumarill. This is going to deal a fair bit of damage. Uh, and then we are going to get bubbled down, unfortunately. Uh, and then I misplay this here. I come in with the uh, Skarmory, and I need to let this charge move hit me. If it's Ice Beam, who cares? If it's Hydro Pump, who cares? But I needed to let that hit me. And then given that I shielded it, I needed to um, double up. Uh, so I go for the Brave Bird here because I need it to take out the Azumarill. But now I'm too far away from the um, Sky Attack. Uh, and so they're actually going to get to a Foul Play. And because my defense is so low, it's going to take me out. So a uh, mistake with this team. Uh, or That's basically a mistake that I made in that battle. Um, again, not super familiar with Skarmory. So I'm willing to give myself a pass there. But that was a very winnable battle. All I had to do was um, build up a little bit more energy uh, on the Skarmory, and that would have been game over. All right, Skarmory Mirror on the lead. I'm not sure that what the best way is to play this, but I'm thinking that I should take a Sky Attack and then throw a Brave Bird in peace. So I am going to throw a Brave Bird here. Uh, expecting this to connect. It does connect. We're going to go ahead and swap now into our own Azumarill. Uh, and we actually get a fair bit of an energy lead, uh, and they bring in a Cresselia. This is a Grass Knot Cresselia, likely, but it's also running Confusion, so it's not going to be able to get to those Grass Knots all that quickly. So we go for a Play Rough here, uh, and we're actually going to be able to get to a second Play Rough before they throw. Uh, so they're definitely building up a lot of energy here, uh, which is fine by me. We're not going to shield on our Azumarill. Uh, they likely have back-to-back -back Grass Knots here, or very close to it. Uh, so they do throw a Grass Knot. Doesn't quite take us out. They do Confusion down. We're going to come in with Skarmory. Skarmory resists everything Cresselia has. Uh, and they throw another Grass Knot. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, Umbreon is coming in. Uh, Machamp is going to meet that Umbreon and just absolutely go to town with Counter. I was going to shield here. I thought it was a little too early for last resort, and in fact it was a foul play, but there's really no reason not to shield that. Uh, however, I am going to let this one come through, because I think it's another foul play. It is just another foul play, so we're going to be able now to counter down this Umbreon and have tons of energy on this Machamp. It is a Cresselia coming back in, so we're going to go for double Rock Slide here. Uh, we get the shield. Rock slide again, and this should bring up our switch timer for us to go into our Skarmory. We are able to go into Skarmory and farm down the Cresselia, uh, and then their Skarmory is coming back in, and we can just go straight for Brave Bird. I think it's within range to take it out. Um, if not, the Air Slashes certainly will. Yes, we do take out the Skarmory, uh, so that's a really good matchup there. So able to get tons and tons of energy on that Shadow Machamp there. Um, just by countering down that Umbreon, does so well against Umbreon. Uh, so that's, so far so good. I, I've been liking the Shadow Machamp. He's been uh, doing a pretty good, pretty good job in the uh, sort of closing role. All right, facing off against K.R. Williams SD here, uh, and it's an Empoleon on the lead. I'm not really sure what the best play here is. So I'm going to build up just a little bit of energy, uh, swap into Azumarill. Probably should have um, gone one more Air Slash to try and catch the charge move uh, to soak a Hydro Cannon, but they're actually going to throw here, and this is a Flash Cannon, so that does quite a lot of damage. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for Play Rough, really hoping that we can um, take out this uh, Empoleon. We're going to go for Ice Beam since I know they have a lot of stored energy, and Ice Beam is probably enough to KO, uh, and we actually get the shield, so this is really good. Uh, we're going to uh, force them to throw. They don't throw, so we are actually able to take them out with Bubble, uh, and we do get taken out by the Skarmory, but that's totally fine uh, because we won back Switch Advantage and Shield Advantage with our... Um, 
as you melt him. So going for the sky attack now, uh, onto the skirmery. Um, not going to shield their charge move. Uh, it is a sky attack, and we're going to go ahead and go for the brave bird here. Uh, this is going to deal quite a lot of damage, and I'm going to swap into Machamp to try and farm down afterwards. So we deal quite a lot of damage. Machamp comes in and is able to farm down before Skarmory gets off another charge move. It is a Shadow Hound Doom coming in, so that's dealing a lot of damage. Uh, my shields definitely didn't matter there, but um, fortunately, Hound Doom is weak to fighting, so we are able to take it out with the counter damage. All right, getting into the last match of the first set here. Uh, three and one so far, but that one definitely was a winnable match. Uh, all right, facing off against Martinez TV. Skarmory into Wigglytuff. Okay, so this is favorable. Um, happy to see the Charmer against my Skarmory rather than against my Machamp. So I'm just going to stay in this. Uh, going to build up to the Brave Bird, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw a Sky Attack, um, hoping to draw a shield because they're worried about a Brave Bird KO. Uh, they don't go for the shield, though, so I'm just going to farm down at this point. We are, unfortunately, going to have to soak an Ice Beam, so that's really close. They're able to get it through, uh, and we have a Brave Bird ready, so we're probably just going to Brave Bird whatever comes in. Uh, it is an Azumarill, so Brave Bird here will deal quite a lot of damage. Yeah, Brave Bird does almost half their health, and they don't get too much farm because we did drop our defenses. Uh, our own Azumarill can come in now, though, uh, and we can start farming. Uh, and they have a Venusaur in the back, or sorry, a Victory Bell in the back, which is probably the worst possible thing. Um, because it shreds my Azumarill and it shreds McChamp because uh, it resists the counter and Razor Leaf just hurts too much. Uh, so we're going to be able to get to an Ice Beam here, um, but they're going to shield. We might be able to get to another Ice Beam. We do get to another Ice Beam. Uh, obviously, we can shield this because we've got two uh, shields, but they actually go for the Acid Spray, which is a great move on their part uh, because it's going to mean that I can't um, do enough bubbles to get to the Play Rough. If they've gone for the Leaf Blade, I would have been able to soak the bubble damage and get to a Play Rough here on this Azumarill. But instead, uh, I'm going to shield their play rough, and then you guys are going to see I'm going to be able to get to the ice beam, but not quite to the play rough. I needed that play rough to take them out. Uh, so really good match, really close match. Uh, but that back line was just uh, very tough for my team to handle. Uh, so they were able to take me out. So 3-2 in that first set. Uh, definitely could have been 4-1 if I um, played a little bit better. But... Uh, pretty happy with that to as a first set with this team. Um, I am going to do another set here. i got to uh, make room in my bag for some items, so I have to decide what to discard. Uh, and some people might think that's blasphemy to discard some fast TMs, but I never seem to use them. So, um, yeah, so curious to hear how everybody's battles in Season 4 are going so far. Um, I have definitely had a little bit of lag, to be honest, um, in this first part of the season, uh, but not, I mean, not too bad. It was really only bad in one set, uh, so, uh, hopefully that's just a one-off thing, uh, but let's go ahead and get into the second set here. All right, up against Belen SA007 here. Uh, so we've got Skarmory into Stunfisk. Uh, Stunfisk is a big problem for this team. Uh, and by that I mean regular Stunfisk, not Galarian. So I'm going to have to go into my Azumarill. Uh, and they actually swap out into Articuno. So very interesting. I'm going to go for an Ice Beam bait. Uh, Articuno's often like to shield. Um, and expecting this to be an icy win, so I'm not going to shield, it will be resisted, uh, but it's actually an ancient power, which is very peculiar. Uh, so I'm going to go for another ice beam. Uh, I think that two ice beams is probably enough to take it out. Um, looks like it probably will be, so uh, going for a second ice beam, they, we do actually CMP tie, so I'm going to let this come through, it's another ancient power. Uh, so I probably should have undercharged this more, 
I was hoping to give myself just, um, you know, three or four bubbles worth of farm, but I only got one, so uh, we're not going to shield this. We're going to come in with Shadow Machamp, but they actually go for the Mud Bomb, so they're going to be forced to throw again unless they want me to get to an Ice Beam. They do throw a second Mud Bomb here, uh, so that is taken out the Azumarill, but now we can get our Machamp onto this Stunfisk. Counter is going to deal quite a lot of damage. We are going to go ahead and shield. Uh, it's just another Mud Bomb, though, so I'm starting to think that they don't have Discharge, and they come in now with Moltres, so, um, I can't really bring Skarmory into Moltres. I have to stay in with this, um, Machamp and do as get to a second Rock Slide here, so I'm going to be forced to shield again. Um, it is another Ancient Power, uh, and this Rock Slide is going to be taken out the Moltres, but, but, um, Stunfisk in the back is going to be able to take us out with another Mud Bomb, uh, and so we're really going to hope that they don't have Discharge. I think it's low enough that Skarmory would manage, even if they did have Discharge, but um, it would certainly be close. Uh, and it is another Mud Bomb, so definitely just a single move Stunfisk, uh, so very lucky for me. Uh, otherwise, uh, stun regular Stunfisk with uh, Discharge would be a huge nightmare for this team. Uh, I don't know that there's... I, I think it would basically be an instant loss, um, especially if they double-shielded the Stunfisk. But uh, fortunately, they did not have the second move there. So, All right, getting into the second matchup here, uh, and we've got Galarian Stunfisk on the lead. So here, I'm going to go ahead and swap into the Azumarill, um, and they come in with their own Azumarill. Uh, this is totally fine. Going to build up to the play rough, or sorry, to the hydro pump, and then go for the play rough. Uh, and we actually get a shield, so that is really excellent for us. Uh, very happy to get a shield in this matchup. Uh, and then they go for the hydro pump, so they probably don't have play rough. So this is looking really good for us because we might be able to flip this matchup, even though they shielded that first play rough. So. Going for another play rough here, I'm going to uh, consistently overcharge um, to throw off my opponent's count on my energy. Uh, so this is going to be another Hydro Pump, so we are still in good shape here. Going to go for our play rough now. Uh, this is going to get them quite low. Should probably get them into Ice Beam range, to be honest. Yeah, they're definitely low enough that they can be taken out with an Ice Beam. Uh, we actually got to them at the same time, uh, so would have been smarter to just go for play rough to be sure, but Ice Beam will definitely be enough. Uh, so we are able to take them out, uh, and now they come in with Bastiodon. So this is looking like the dream for Shadow Machamp. Bastiodon and Galarian Stunfisk in the back. Shadow Machamp is just going to go to town. Uh, they're getting off a charge move here. I'm going to shield in case it's a flamethrower. Uh, it's just a, it is a stone edge. Uh, you want to be going for flamethrower in that matchup. Uh, as it does deal neutral damage instead of resisted. Um, uh, I am going to go ahead and shield up the Rock Slide, just to be sure. Uh, I Basically, my lose condition was getting hit with an Earthquake, uh, and so definitely safest to shield up the Rock Slide. Uh, going to go for Doubles Cross Chop now, and that's going to be enough to basically take out that Stun Fisk, and then my opponent does go ahead and surrender, uh, because that Bastiodon was just going to get countered down in about three hits. Shadow McCamp coming up big in that set. Awesome uh, team comp for him to go against there. All right, Azumarill on the lead against Skarmory. This is a fairly neutral matchup. Uh, I'm still not sure what the best way to play this is. Uh, I'm going to let them throw first. I'm sure that letting them throw first is the best, and uh, they didn't build up to the Hydro Pump, so I knew that was just going to be an Ice Beam. Uh, and then I build up to basically 100 energy and go for the Brave Bird. I think it would have been better for me to go Sky Attack and then Brave Bird. I wanted to swap out here, uh, but I because I can't, I am forced to use a shield. Uh, and then I'm going to have to um, Sky Attack as well. So I basically gave up shield advantage. And because the Skarmory is so debuffed, I also have to give up switch advantage. So... Definitely not the best way to play that matchup. I need to uh, figure out what the right approach is. I think uh, throwing just a little bit earlier before they get to that second ice beam uh, and then swapping out is probably the better way to go. Uh, they do come in with Shiftry. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and throw the Ice Beams uh, just to force the shields. Uh, they go back to back Leaf Blades, which is totally fine. I'm going to let the Azumarill go down. Uh, and then they've got Skarmory and um, Shiftry. So I'm going to come in with Machamp and farm down as much health as I can. Uh, and we are going to basically get to a Rock Slide and a Cross Chop. Um, and then throw a cross shot to try and get this shield. Uh, we do get a shield, so that's very good for us. And then we're going to go for the rock slide. This is going to get the Skarmory very low. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and swap out into our own Skarmory now. Uh, and we managed to catch the Sky Attack, so that was perfect for us. However, I think my opponent just undercharges that. So they're actually going to be able to get in two more Air Splashes and have a Sky Attack ready, so really, really well played by my opponent. That uh, counter, if it had gone through, would have taken out the Skarmory, uh, but because they had that charge move ready, uh, they are able to take out the champ. So very, very close match, very well played by my opponent, very good energy management on their Skarmory to ensure that they were able to win that, um, but super close match. All right, so Toxicroak on the lead. Uh, this is good. Uh, Skarmory has quite a good matchup, dealing super effective damage with those air slashes. Uh, and then this is just going to be a mud bomb. It was too close, put to be a sludge bomb, and sludge bombs double resisted. Uh, so they're going to go ahead now and swap into their own Skarmory. Uh, I'm going to drop the Brave Bird uh, and then bring in Azumarill. Uh, and the Brave Bird does enough damage here that uh, with the additional bubble damage, um, the Skarmory will be within Ice Beam range. Alright, so we're going to build up a lot of extra energy. Uh, I want to make sure that I can Ice Beam the top scope when it's come in. I'm fine to eat a second Sky Attack here um, and have Azumarill get fairly low. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get to 99 energy and drop the Ice Beam. Uh, this Ice Beam does take out the Skarmory. The Toxicroak comes back in. We're going to go for another Ice Beam here. This is likely to get a shield from the Toxicroak. Uh, we do get a shield. That's uh, pretty good for us, uh, and this bubble damage is adding up as well. Uh, so they're going to have a Mud Bomb ready, but again, Skarmory doesn't really care about the charge moves from Toxicroak. Uh, so we're able to take that Mud Bomb. They swap out into an Umbreon, and Shadow Champ just says, well, thank you very much. That's GG. This is way too fast to be a last resort, so I don't go ahead and shield. It is just a foul play. Uh, they're going to have to get to a lot of charge moves. We're going to go ahead and shield now. Uh, likely just going to be another foul play, and it is, but um, again, no reason not to shield there. My lose condition is getting hit by a last resort, uh, and we've got double cross chop ready for this Tox Croak. We er, we're going to go for a cross chop and then a rock slide. The cross chop gets the shield. This rock slide should be taking it out, uh, and we are able to take out that Tox Croak. So, uh, good match there. We got a very favorable lead, but we were able to maintain maintain good alignment of the counters throughout that match. Um, and it looks like we've got one more battle left in this set. Uh, and it will be against I Am Against. So uh, we've got Skarmory into Probal Pass. Uh, not a good lead. Gonna go ahead and swap out into Azumarill, but honestly, this isn't a very good matchup for Azumarill without Hydro Pump either. However, they bring in an Obstagoon, which is really interesting. They're going to go ahead and throw this is way too fast to be gunk shot, so I don't need to shield this. It is a Night Slash, uh, and we're just going to go for a Play Rough. So my guess is that my opponent must have misclicked there, uh, because I'm definitely going to be able to win Switch here. We do get a shield. Um, pretty surprising, to be honest, because there's really nothing they can do um, against my Azumarill. Uh... So we're going to go for another player up. We get a second shield, which is amazing for us. Um, this could be Gunshot. So I am going to go ahead and shield this. Uh, but it is just going to be a Night Slash. And then we're going to uh, build up a little bit. They actually swap in their own Azumarill. So I'm going to come in with Skarmory. At this point, I know that um, Machamp can beat both Pokemon in the back. Both Pokemon are double weak to Machamp. Uh, so really, that's the only Pokemon I need. I'm um, going to go for a Brave Bird against this uh, Azumarill. It does a ton of damage, and they're unshielded, so why wouldn't I? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and let this Skarmory go down. I don't really need it anymore. Uh, the 
I have loaded energy on the, my Azumarill, but I'm able to just come in and counter down uh, with Machamp to have loaded energy on whatever's coming in. Uh, it is going to be a the Obstagoon. Uh, I can go ahead and shield. I think this is just Night Slash, but no reason for me not to shield. And I'm going to be able to counter down here. Uh, and now I've got um, close to two cross chops for this pro pass. The first cross chop is going to basically take it out, and then one more counter does take out the pro pass, so that's going to be a good game. Alright, so uh, able to go 7-1 and one in those first two sets. Um, probably we'll do maybe one or two more sets uh, with this team, and then I'll swap it up. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much for watching, uh, and I hope to see you in the next video.